Hey everyone, thanks for stopping by. I've got a really cool new feature that I've been working a few weekends on that I think you're really gonna enjoy. And this takes the VR mocap actor to an entirely new level. It's a character capsule uh, movement component for the VR mocap actors. So I'm just gonna line myself up with the metahuman here. So we've got our traditional, you know, room scale locomotion. I can walk around. That's normal, right? But what about turning in place? What about walking forward? <laughs> so this is basically a character capsule. I've got eight way movement set up so I can actually move around the space. And the animations look a little weird and that's because I'm actually doing the animations on the trackers. So I could actually even be crouched and there's a little bit of the offset that happens. You can make it look a little bit better if you like kind of put a little bit of uh, swing and sway into it. Well, what's up with my elbow? I think I have to recalibrate that uh, that elbow, it's looking a little weird. But yeah, how cool is this? Uh, I'm a character now, I'm a character in a video game. So I can run around. Um, I've also got like a running uh, animation. What's really neat is, see this object here? There's a um, collider on this object. I can't locomote through it, and I also can't walk through it. That's because I am a character uh, capsule. I'm basically controlled by um, all the things that dictate a third person character in Unreal Engine. So that's super rad. I can basically even do like a first person game. <laughs> Locomoting around, looking down at my feet. This is, this is really cool. <laughs> but yeah, again, like I can't walk through objects. Um, this is rad, this is cool stuff. Uh, I can even put like, you know, a camera back here and be like, now I'm Resident Evil 4 camera. I've got like a gun taking, taking fools out. Uh, yeah, this would be, uh, I, I'm having a lot of fun with this. So I can show you a little bit about the component and how it's set up. All right, so we've got the VR mocap actor component. What I did is I just copied and pasted one of the metahumans I set up, um, put them X forward, put them at the bottom of the capsule, and then just change the mocap actor component to look for a metahuman. So again, yeah, the body of the metahuman has to have that mocap actor uh, animation blueprint for both the body and the face. But let's, uh, let's clear this stuff out. I have a mesh in here already, so let's search for another one. I'm gonna search for Ethan. Uh, Capcom, please don't sue me. Um, and we're gonna search for uh, CC3 because this is a CC3 character. That's Character Creator 3 character. Um, yep, that's pretty much, what, what is this? Yep, changes to CC3. That's all we need to do. We basically set the mesh to have the animation blueprint. Um, we made the mocap actor look for that character creator three skeleton, and that's good. So I'm just gonna go back to our original scene here. Now, because we had this object in our scene already, I think we have some overrides that we have to make sure, um, like on this mocap actor, Okay, no, it's set to CC3. You actually sometimes have to like change this um, uh, if you do mess around with the blueprint. I'd recommend just making a child blueprint or just um, making an individual, just copying this blueprint for every act that you have. Um, so yeah, that's good. So let's see how this works. Now, because the animation is on the trackers, I don't have animations per skeleton. It would look better with animations per skeleton, but I figured there's so many skeletons it's better just to do the animation on the trackers themselves. But yeah, same, same set of motions. So any character that works with the system, you can use these animations on these horrific animations. <laughs> oh yeah, they, again, there's a run animation, a run version for each one. But you can see I have full control of my hands. Woo! <laughs> While this is going on. There is a bit of motion that's applied to the hands. You can see like a little bit of sway. Um, oop, where'd I go? Where am I? Is that a secret area? Let's go over there, let's see. This is exciting stuff. <laughs> it's a little shaky <laughs> from first person. I wonder what it would look like in VR. Do we wanna see what it would look like in VR? All right, let's check it out. <laughs> okay, so VR mode might not be the way to go with this character component, but uh, Hey, maybe I'll try to figure that out at some point. It's been a long time since I've actually captured in the headset, but it's actually kind of fun. Uh, much easier to line yourself up with the body. 
But anyways, that was a special look at the new character controller component I made. It's the VR mocap movement actor. Uh, pretty easy to set up as you saw. It's basically just make sure that it has the animation blueprint and the mocap actor component is set to the right skeleton. But thanks so much for taking a look and I hope you have a great evening or day. It doesn't matter. Time is an illusion. Okay, bye.